Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. In this video, I'll show you a simple technique on how to create a selection state, a default selection state for the clear button. Sometimes you wanted to have some default selections even when the user hits the clear button, the clear button on the top toolbar. Why do you need this? You may need this uh, basically to select few data islands or basically to select a language setting. It may be anything, but you need the default selections even when the user hits the clear button. And by default, when you hit the clear button, you will lose all the selections. For example, look at this. The language English is selected. Just to make sure, I will add the current selection box. And if I hit clear, you will lose all the selections. So in this case, you may want to retain the language as English. You might be thinking you wanted to use always one selected. You can use that, but let's assume that you have many, many selections. You don't want to go down the route of having too many always one selected property list boxes. So how do we do that basically? So let's go ahead and select a language as our default language. Let's probably select French as our default language and then go to the clear button and then you see a small drop down button here and hit this button and then you have something called set clear state. So click on set clear state. Okay. And now go ahead and make a different selection. Go back to English or deselect this. Either way, it's fine and then hit the clear button now and then it goes back to French. It's like an internal trigger, not really a trigger, but whenever you hit the clear button, it will go ahead and call the selection state which you have defined. Pretty useful. So let's test this again. So you wanted to select, a, um, let's select Chinese simplified and then when you hit the clear button, it'll go back to French. That's perfect. So now you can use this setting. Unfortunately, there is no way to view what selections are made, but the best way to check whether you have set a clear state or not is by clicking the button. And then if this is enabled, reset clear state, which means that either you or other developers might have set a clear state. So if I hit reset clear state and then click on clear button, all the selections disappear. So pretty simple. Now let's just take this a step forward. Let's say that you wanted to have a bookmark which needs to be applied when you hit the clear button. That's possible too. So let's go back and change the language. I can't read anything except English. Okay, and then let's go back to actual application and make few selections. I'll select my favorite director and just select a film as well. This is your just just to create the bookmark, I'll select this film and then I'll leave the actors for now. And then let's go back and copy the clear state here as well. So apologies, uh, the current selection box here as well. And uh, once we've copied the current selection box, let's go back to intro. And let's assume that these are the default selections you wanted and you can save this selection state as a bookmark. So go to bookmarks and then just hit add bookmarks and then call it clear state. For now I'll disable everything. Make this as a doc document bookmark. Yep. Okay. Now deselect everything. And then let's test if the bookmark is still there. So let's hit clear state. Yes, the bookmark is available. Now, all you need to do is just go here and then click on more, select this, and you see this button here. Set clear state, click on that. You will not get any confirmation, but just hit this button once and then hit okay. And now just go ahead and deselect this. And now let's go ahead and hit the clear. And there we go. 
So it basically cleared everything and then it applied the bookmark. To prove that, I'll go ahead and select some random stuff and uh, basically that's it and select four and then go back here you made some selections hit the clear button it goes back to your default bookmark or the clear state bookmark pretty useful now just taking this one more step further let's say that you wanted to take the users to a default tab when you hit the clear button that's possible too so how do we do that? So let's go back here. You always wanted to land here when the user hits the clear button. Let's go to bookmarks and create one more bookmark. Add bookmark. Clear state. Layout. And then select this option, include layout state. Select this if you wanted. And then if you wanted, also include input field values. Okay, I've included everything and then this is my default state for the document. Hit OK. Okay, now go to bookmarks, hit the more button and then select this and then click on select clear state. Okay, and then Click OK. And then let's go back here. Deselect everything. Nothing is selected. Now hit the clear button. There we go. It'll go to the default sheet which is specified in the bookmark and also it respects all the selections. Not just that, let's assume that if you wanted to include some variables, you can also do that. Let's go to let's create a variable here and just add the variable we test for now and then i'll leave it blank for now okay and i'll add an input box uh, there we go okay and then add test here and then hit okay okay so i'll assign a value here zero then add a text box we test that's zero Okay. It's all good. Now, what you need to do is to include this variable in the bookmark, which in turn will be included in your set clear state. So just go to document properties and then go to the variables tab, then select this and say that include this in bookmarks. So if you do that, okay, now let's put some number here and then go back and then just add one more bookmark. Final clear state, okay. And then hit this, okay. Now let's go back and then click on more and then include this, select this, apologies, and then click on select clear state, hit okay. Now change this value to zero back again. Then remove the selection, remove the selection and let's go back to different tab, which will be intro in this case. And then hit the clear button. There we go. So it remembers all the selections. It remembers your layout state and it also remembers your variable. So this is very, very powerful and you can control all different components, layout state, selection state and your variables and input fields. So I hope this was helpful. I would encourage you to participate in click view question of the day where I ask click view questions on a regular basis. You can answer them to assess your knowledge and you will see the results instantly. So I'll show you the window. Just click on the browser and then go to clickshare.com and then click on click view question of the day. And then I've already asked 183 questions covers various topics from server to publisher and uh, your desktop client, loads of functions and extension objects. It's a very, very useful way to assess your knowledge and learn something new every other day. Thank you. Thanks for watching.